All right, so we got a couple packages in the mail today. We will start with this one. Um, I have probably five or six things coming, so I'm not exactly sure. I didn't bother to try to look up the tracking number to see what these were, so we'll be surprised together here. Uh, I have a feeling just based off the shape what this one was or is. Let's see what we got. Yeah. All right, so um, just kind of a promotional American Savings and Loan Association holder. You can see that these were from bank in Houston, Texas. In this case, has some scratches in it or a crack. I'll take a closer look. The coin is just a 1921. Looks like... I'll have to take a closer look, but pretty much probably like an AU condition Morgan. Reverse looks pretty nice, almost looks MS, but did not really buy this for the coin. I really just got this for the promotional holder. Um, I like this kind of stuff. I have a couple others. Uh, I think I'll make a video probably at some point just posting some of uh, these promotional type of Morgans that I have. But all right, uh, what do you guys think about that? All right, so here's our next one. Um, again, I'm not entirely sure what this is. Let's get this open. Oh, it does look like there's two coins in here. All right, yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at this one first. This is an 85O. Uh, got an MS63. Uh, oh yeah, nice, very nice toning actually on the reverse here. I'd kind of forgotten a little bit about this, but that looks great. Yeah, I kind of like the obverse as well. It's kind of messy, but I like some different type of toning. Like the obverse has some kind of full toning on it, even if it's not the, the prettiest toning, but the reverse looks great. I like that a lot. Uh, what do you guys think about this one? Here we can make a eBay comparison photo here. There you see the obverse, and there is the reverse. I like it. All right, let's take a look at the next one. So this, um, you know, very old holder here. I believe, yeah, this is an old PCGS holder. I think this is, if I'm not mistaken, this is like the Type 2 holder. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But let's take a close look. I bought this because I thought the coin looked like it could be really nice and much higher than a 63. Maybe, I think it would. You know, at glance here, this looks like it could get a 65, possibly. You know, it has pretty minimal bag marks on it for the most part. You know, there's some scratches on the cheek here, but nothing real heavy. It does have kind of a haziness to it, but very few bag marks. The haziness does, I think, detract from the appeal of it to some degree. But boy, I mean, otherwise, this has uh, very few bag marks. I mean, if you're looking at just the bag marks, I feel like this could get like a 66. Here's the reverse. Overall, again, pretty good. Some rim toning. There is... Yeah, nothing real significant. Just some very small minor scratches and bag marks. Um, you know, in these areas, mostly in the fields. 
but I don't think enough that would hold it back a significant grade or anything. And at nice angles, it does have some pretty good, you know, it's got good luster to it. It has some, a pretty decent appearance. But, yeah, I don't know what I'll do with this one. Meaning, I don't know if I want to send this in for regrading. I don't know, what do you guys think? So here's the eBay picture comparisons. Yeah. All right, here we got another uh, promotional Morgan. I actually don't recall the date on this. Um, this is a Columbia Bank or Savings and Loan. This was a bank in Denver. I believe these promotional Morgans were handed out at the grand opening, it says on the back here, which was 1964. And here's your cover Columbia Savings and Loan Association. Colorado's greatest statewide savings institution. All right, and then uh, here we go. A four and a half percent, which uh, you know we don't see anything like that in our savings or checking banks today. Let's take a closer look at this. Not bad. You know, I think this. Uh, 86 Philadelphia, I believe. You know, this is probably like a MS-63 type of condition. Let's take a look at it here. It does have some kind of nice toning on it. Four and a half percent on the back of that. Not bad, some kind of tying around the rim. Actually looks pretty nice. I don't know, what do you guys think about that? Not too bad. Looks like it would probably grade MS 63, maybe 62. I don't know, what do you guys think? I bet I like that one. All right, so this is an 810 uh, eBay purchase. I was on a kick of trying to find Morgans that I thought were undergraded. That's kind of what the deal with this is. It's going to be pretty 50 50 on this one. I didn't pay a whole lot for it, but if it looks like it would grade, uh, an MS-64 by chance, um, then I did really well. Uh, anything under that, uh, just not really much of a big deal. Let's see what we got. This is basically ungraded and just a junk holder. And yeah, it looks pretty, pretty scuffed up there, especially in the fields, which I wasn't quite expecting. So yeah, this would probably get an MS-62 at best, I would say. And they have a 63 on the holder. Nope. So, not a bad looking coin overall. So, looks like at one point it was probably close to PL. But yeah, this wasn't really worth the purchase.
oh well. Sometimes it's just about the fun of the hunt. Not a big deal. Not out much on this. I'll probably crack it out of here just for the heck of it. Maybe carry it in my pocket. All right.